we, uh, we do the three kaya just to see how we uh, went on the off season. But you spend eight weeks away from the club and um, you know we have a set program we need to follow. So the fitness staff use uh, the three k as a bit of a guide to see where we're at. It's not, you know, the be all and end all. You obviously, you come out here to run your best. You know, a lot of blokes get their PBs and um, yeah, I think all the blokes today got their return targets. So um, yeah, it's been a good result. I had shoulder surgery at the end of last year and um, I was out of a lot of contact drills and I was running with, um, with Jaden Short while I was out of those drills. And, um, he's absolutely flying, he's had a huge pre-season and for me to be able to run with him and try and keep up with him was um, really testing me and pushing my fitness base. I ran it probably the best time I've ran but um, we haven't done one since we came back after the Christmas break so that was early January and probably had three, two or three solid months of pre-season training after that and certainly feel a lot fitter. I think I've taken away from this camp just being around the boys even more. It's getting on a bit better. So coming in the first year, like normally expect the young boys and an attack cup, you're normally just 18 year olds, but now you're playing with 30 year olds, 28 year olds, so all different age levels, so just knowing them. So you get to know each other more and then understand them a bit more. So I'm a pretty shy guy, but I get out of my shell a bit more. Uh, big pre season camp and um, so yeah, just to get out and have fun really and uh, just enjoy each other's company. You're spending every, um, every minute of every day together and just that bond that you can create with guys that sometimes, you know, even in Melbourne, the, the hustle and bustle of you know, family and partners at home. It's just good to be able to relax and, and connect with people that you may not um, back in Melbourne as much as, you know, you probably would like to. I think it's similar to last year, just building connections and relationships with each other and trying to get the younger boys, get to know them a little bit better and just learn a bit about them away from footy. That's really important about these sort of camps because when you're at the club, you kind of just go home after you finish training and you sort of miss out on those opportunities to get to know them on a personal level. So. It's, um, it's really good. It's really good because I'm always learning in the drills and stuff and getting used to up to the heat up here. It's been pretty awesome because in Melbourne you don't really get the heat and the humidity as you do up here. So yeah, just learning off the coaches and being around the boys 24-7 is pretty good. Yeah. What the training session, especially watching from afar in the last 14 days? Really impressive to watch. As Jim said, the way we crashed in in the last one or two minutes is the standard we set all year last year, but we're carrying it into this season. It's going to hold us a minute to stay. Certainly, I think it's probably finding it, you know, if it makes sense, it's finding an extra gear when you don't think that you've, you can actually give it. So, probably the Hills is a great example yesterday after a tough session and then being able to back up and some guys are absolutely flying up those hills and if you said to them prior that they were going to do that and fly up the hills, I don't think they would have thought they had the capacity to do it. So I think that's probably one of the main elements of camps like this. Oh, dropping the ball! Jumps on top! Holding the ball! Up it! Up it! What is it, mate? Holding the ball! We've got a pretty good group. We're probably both close and competitive. Like you got Jason and George, like trying to trying to beat each other all the time. You got me and Wombo, which is good. There's a lot of competition around um, Richmond, which is really good. Everyone's trying to go for a spot, so I think that makes me a better player and them a better player trying to go for the same spot. Yeah, we're all working hard, but we all have fun as well. Man with the master plan. 